Hi, I'm Werner. I'm a developer at uh, Coitech. Sometimes you need to measure short current pulses, shorter than the uh, arc sampling speed. So how do we capture those and how short of a pulse can we actually measure? Many IoT devices have a typical cycle where they sleep most of the time in a low power state and then wake up periodically for a short amount of time to do measurement, transmit data or similar. For this example, we'll use a system profile that idles at 5.32 milliamps and at intervals uses an additional 150 milliamps with a duty cycle of 2%. This will result in an average current consumption of 8.32 milliamps in theory. Uh, we'll begin with an interval of one second with 20 millisecond pulses. And we can see that we're for this pulse measuring 8.56 milliamps, close to the uh, theoretical value. Let's shorten the cycle to 100 milliseconds uh, with two millisecond pulses. And we can see that we're reading an 8.62 milliamp average. We still have to use 10 cycles to get the average reading. The pulses are less well defined here. We're getting close to the uh, the arc sampling rate. Uh, we'll continue reducing the pulse width we're down to 200 microsecond pulses, and we can see that we're getting an average of 8.59 milliamps. The maximum value is a lot less though, but the total amount of energy has still been captured. We're moving down to 20 microsecond pulses. It's way shorter than the uh, OTI arc sampling uh, period. And we can see that we're still reading an 8.66 milliamp average close to the um, theoretical value, but the maximum is now a lot smaller. Uh, this means that if measuring over a number of pulses, it's still possible to capture the total amount of energy used, even if consumed in very short pulses. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and see you soon.